Thank you for passing me on, Kathy. Um, I'm hoping the sun doesn't come around too quick. I wanted to sit in front of the patio door. It gives me light. Um, and it's wide open. You're going to hear the birds. I filled the bird feeder right before. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So this cross is in my Etsy shop. It is so beautiful. Look at all these pieces. And I'll show you. That. So let me show you how it will be put together when it's done. We've got three big pieces. This is going to go together like this. These pieces will all be on. This will be on top of it. And then, oh, I didn't grab a bottom stand. I've got one here. I didn't grab my bottom stand. Um, and this is going to go on here. And then we've got a bottom stand that's going to go on there. So it's going to stand and this will be on here. All those little pieces are going to be on here. Um, and, uh, go ahead and get started. Now I think I'm going to stain a little bit around the outside edges on here. Otherwise, all these pieces fit on here and it covers the whole thing. I just want a little of the outside edge. I'm also going to stain this. Um, probably just the outside edge also and the back just in case people would see it and I'll show you the stain I'm using is going to be is so pretty and easy you don't have to get out your cans of stain um, all right this let's see I think I'll stain I'm staining everything and then um, after some of it is going to be wax, not all of it, and a little of it is going to be painted. The only thing I'm not going to stain is this. I'm not going to stain that. There's no purpose to staining that. I just look. And I'm not going to stain this. I'm going to paint that. Those two will be painted. Okay, so the stain I'm using is gel stains. Okay, you get these at um, Hobby Lobby. This is like a dollar ninety nine. This is the maple color. They have, I think, three colors: oak, maple, and walnut. You just keep coming back. I'm in front of his door. That's probably the problem. To say hi to Maybri. Maybri is in the house. Our little three year old follower. Hello, Maybri. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So I'm just going to squirt some of this out. I'm going to apply it with a brush and then I'm going to wipe it off. Now, okay. Now you need to go lay down. Yes, you need to go lay down. All right. I'm going to keep having to come back to that. Okay, Cash, you're going to need to go lay down. All right. I thought I had another brush here for that. Uh, let me grab one. Oh, I do. It was hiding on me. Are you seeing my funny pants? <laughs> All right. Okay, Cash, you need to go lay down, buddy. You need to go lay down. Awesome. We enjoy having Maybri on here with us. So anybody wants to say hi to Maybri, go ahead and say hi. All right, so I'm just going to do a couple at a time, and then I'm going to wipe it off. I should, I'm going to get gloves on. Just, I can wash it off. Honestly, you can wash it off, but I don't want to get so messy during this. You, with this kind of stain, it's, it's not that bad. Honestly, last night I was playing with it, and I didn't have to really cover my hands. All right, I'm just going to brush this on. Now it's going to look pretty dark when I first do this. Let me point you down. I'm going to do a couple at a time. I know I'm in front of your window. Oh gosh, what are you to do, Cash? All right, so paint it on. And then I'm going to take a paper towel. So I'm going to do two at a time. Because I don't want the stain so dark, but you're going to see it's a beautiful stain. And just wipe it off. Look at how beautiful that stain is. It's gorgeous. So this is the maple one. And I'm just going to go through and do that on everything. It won't take that long. 
I'm not that picky putting it on. And I just use a brush and it'll wash out of the brush. You can use a paper towel or whatever you want also. It doesn't have to be a brush. You could use a fiber cloth. Just wipe off the excess. Good, good morning, Carla. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. All right, so this is, I mean, honestly, this whole cross is easy. Um, so very easy. It'll go quick. Oh, I just redid one that I, <laughs> that I already did. It's not going to go quick if I keep redoing it, right? But after I'm done, I'm going to choose some of these. After I lay them on the board and I can see how it's going to lay out or on the cross, I'm going to choose some of these to, um, to actually wax on top to give it a little bit different look on some of them just to give it a little just a little bit of like not a 3d look just just a varied look on the cross itself you don't have to do that but it just makes them look a little bit different i had um debated on painting today with this I decided the stain is beautiful. Hello, Gina. Just making sure I got with the window right next to me. I am having a little difficulty seeing comments. So I'm going to put this down here and just fit some pieces up here. So we are going to stain, like I said, the front and the back of the cross. So I'm going to go ahead and do the back of this, this right away. This is going to take a little more because you might have it someplace where you want to um, display it, where people might see the back of it. It's a stand-up cross. So... Um, you might want to do the front and the back. The front of it, you don't have to do all the way around. You'll see because you won't, you won't see most of it. You're only going to do a little bit. Just get a good coverage. You don't have to be real picky about direction or anything. When you wipe it off, though, you might want to so that you have um, a little bit of a straight green. Otherwise, you'll see the variation if you wipe in opposite direction. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, and that I'm going to leave here because we're going to flip that over and do just a little bit on that. Thank you, Carla, for passing me on. So tell me, did you guys all um, have a good week? We're almost done. We're almost done. We get to go watch another baseball game tonight. Baseball has been going crazy with my grandson. Um, and actually, Saturday, we get to go to, it's a semi-pro team stadium where we're going to watch them. They're called the Timber Rattlers. We're going to watch them, and they're like a semi-pro off of the Brewers, I believe. And then after, they have high school teams sometimes play after, so my grandson's team is playing after against another high school team. So that'll be fun. We get to go watch the game and then watch them. Took a one here. I don't have too many names in here. But look at the difference, how it almost brings out the grain of the wood when you stain it. Yeah, if you can see that on there. Let's see. 
Just a little spot there. I feel like I keep covering up things for you. Like I said, you could also use just like a micro uh, fiber towel doing this instead of using the brush but then it'll be absorbing into there too after a while if you do it in the same spot it's you'll be able to use some of that stain that gets absorbed but all right just tiny pieces yet What's the weather like by you guys? I said, can you hear the birds outside? I actually hear geese. We have a um, a large a large pond. It's a little lake. It's a lake, um, not a huge lake, but it goes crazy with birds, with geese especially. So now they're coming in during the fall and into the early winter. They're down there on their flight south. A lot of baseball this weekend. How exciting. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, their games, they played Monday night, Tuesday night. And so Monday night was really, really cold where we were, where they played. It was along the lake. So it was really cold. But um, Tuesday night was the first night. We had to sit out there just in T-shirts. It was a beautiful night. Um, so it doesn't always happen that way a lot during the season. It, this is just unusual, um, very unusual weather. And we'll take it. And then we're going to whine when it gets cold again because it's not going to stay this warm. Actually, by Sunday, I think it's supposed to be highs in the 40s, which is normal. 80 today, Kathy. And we, can you remind me where you are? Yeah, it's going to be 80s here today, too. It honestly is probably mid-70s already. You can see I'm sitting in front of the door, and I am warm. Yeah. Okay, I got all the little pieces stained. This is going to be, honestly, putting it back together is going to be, probably take the longest. So I'm going to take this one too. Let me just see if I'm going to see any of it. I'm not. Okay, I'm not going to stain any of the other side of this. This is going to be the back of it. It's going to, you're not going to see that. But what I am going to do is stain some of this around the edges Because you're gonna see, you're gonna see that. Should we get it down far enough? And you could see where that cross laid. So you just need probably in about, I'd say, half inch to three quarter inch. Do that all the way around, and just lay it back on there to make sure. that up. The rest of this doesn't matter. You're not going to see it. So just, it's okay to leave it like that. It's cold about 39 right now. Oh God. Doesn't Oregon get a lot of rain, Carla? That's what we know Oregon for. And I don't know why. I think it just, I think my husband used to live in Oregon just for a little bit. And he, I think he always talked about how rainy it was. It rained all the time, he said. But it could have been the season, too, that he was there. He wasn't there long. I 
this in this beautiful stain and it's so easy to use. I love these little bottles. Again, I got my stain, this maple if you're on late. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a deco art. You can get it in three different colors is what they had there, I think. I've had it for a while. Um, again, oak, walnut, and this is the maple. All right, and I'm going to do just a little bit on the edges here. Just a real little bit. Most of it will be covered, but I want to make sure that if any is showing, I don't have any of the light color. So just the edges in this bottom part here. I can tell you it has to be probably 80 degrees outside right now. I'm a sweat in here, but I'm not complaining. Mostly in winter and springtime. Okay, I told them. You use those stains also, Gloria? Yeah, they are so amazing. Um, I've used them for quite a while. They're just so easy. If you had a huge project, you wouldn't use it probably. Just, you know, I'm going to grab a couple bottles. I said for $1.99 for that bottle, and it's lasted a while. I, I mean, I don't use it all the time, but whenever I stain my projects, I've been using these little bottles. And you can get them when they're on sale, too. I believe they go on sale with the paints. I'm not positive, though. I'm sure you can get on uh, Amazon, too, if you wanted. Okay. I think I've got everything stained that I want to stain. These two pieces we're going to paint. This is going to go on the back like this, so make sure that that covers. Okay, so our staining is done. Um, let's go ahead and paint these. These two are going to be black, so we're gonna go ahead and paint that right away. Right, Vicki? I just heard this morning, yeah, it's 25 degrees above normal which our March was awful. It was awful with the snow, constantly snow, and that's not normal either. So I was, I was really happy to get this, but I know it ain't gonna last. All right, so I'm gonna paint this trim black. You don't have to do the sides because the sides are laser cut, um, and that's going to, if you're gonna do it black, um, that's laser cut, so you're not going to see that there's a difference on the sides. If you're painting, if you, you want this a different color, or I had debated on gold, that would be beautiful too. Um, you could paint the sides then. So these are really limited in my Etsy shop. I think I have five of them out there. So um, if you're interested, I have a link up there. And that's where they are. But like I said, I think I have five out there. I had six and this is one of them. This is one of them. All right. Okay, let's just put this over where so I don't get it on top of the pieces. Let's just leave it lay there for now. All right, and this piece is going to be black also. Again, you just paint it, you do whatever you want. If you want colors throughout the cross, you can certainly do that too. Um, what I would recommend if you're doing different colors throughout the cross, I would recommend laying it all on there and pulling out the pieces that you want to change. I debated on doing teal and white um, and like a black cherry. That would have been beautiful. But when I was staining this, I just loved the stain. So I decided I was going to just stick with the stain. All right, one coat of black is plenty on that. 
Okay, I think I'm done, done, done. I'm done with all the mess. Very different winter for us. Only a few dustings of snow. Ha. Huh. Yeah. I, it, most of our winter wasn't that way. March was. March was a snow. I don't remember what where it ranked in the snowiest months for Wisconsin in March. Get that out of our way. We're going to start placing this together. Let's get this out of our way. All right, I'm going to start with this. Oh, let that dry up. We're going to start with this, and I'm going to lay the pieces on here, and then I'm going to choose some of the pieces to actually do a darker wax over them. It's only going to be a subtle difference, but it it is a little bit of a difference when you do that. So you can see when you lay these on here, and they're all, it's all mapped out for you, just like a puzzle. They are going to touch like that. You have to make sure you have them in the right places. So again, if you enjoy puzzles, you're going to enjoy this. Like I said, they, they look like with the way it's drawn out that they won't touch, but they will. They will. All right. I said I'm just laying them on and then I'm going to pick a few off for staining or for waxing and this is what I would do if you were going to paint these like different colors I would lay it all on first and then you can pick out the ones you want for the different colors and with the laser cut sides, you actually see that little bit of dark um, coming up in, be in between here, which I love that. I was going to try and do um, hi uh, highlighting like the edges with black, but you just don't need to if you don't want to. So I decided we we're gonna keep it easy, keep it simple. In there again, they will all fit together. Look how pretty this is getting. Can you see that? Getting there, two more pieces. I think this one goes down here. Okay. That's what it's looking like so far. Gotta lift it up a little bit. Why don't you glue them? They're gonna stay in place. That's what it's looking like. And you can see when you put that black over it, it's going to be gorgeous. But so now I'm going to take, now I've used this wax a lot. I love this wax, um, Chalk Teak Dark Paste Wax. It um, just adds just a little subtle darkness to it, not much. The smell isn't awful. It reminds me of almost like a, um, like a pledge. That's what it reminds me of. Um, and I'm just going to use a fiber cloth to put it on. Okay, and I'm just going to do a few pieces, random pieces. So I'm going to pick out this big piece, and I'll show you. Again, you're not going to see much difference, but it's, it's something. Now, if you want to do it on the whole thing just to give it a little bit of sheen, you can do that. But I'll hold it up to one that's not done, and you can see the difference. Okay. 
I hope you can see the difference. I know the lighting isn't the best, but do you see how the one is a little bit darker? That's what I'm trying to get at, and we're just going to do a few of them. So we did that one and that one. I'm going to pick one out of here. Thank you, Kathy. It is such a beautiful cross. You know, it's a nice size, too, and with all the layers to it, it actually uses a lot of wood. Okay, that on there. Let's pick this piece out of here. Okay, I'm just choosing random pieces. over here take this one out of here it does, and if you don't like this look then just you could do them all or don't do any Do this little piece down here yet? Okay, and maybe now I don't know that you're actually going to see that little piece. Maybe I'll do this piece here yet. Get that out of there. Yeah, it is just a subtle difference, and that's what I wanted to go for. Again, if you're painting and you're painting different colors, you're going to see that big difference. It's whatever you like, but it's just going to be a difference. It, it is just a little difference. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to wax on top of the black. We'll just see. That'll give it a little sheen. You're not going to see a difference. I don't think that you would see a difference, but it just polishes it up. It gives it such a smooth look. It, you know, to me, it's it's a smooth, not a dull look like the normal matte paint would be. You have to be careful so you don't break this piece, though. It is... They are thin pieces. They're eighth inch wood. Okay, so what is that? It's just adding. I don't even know if I do it on just half of this, if you would see the difference. Probably not. It's adding a little sheen to it. Let's see if you can see the difference. Yeah, you can see it. Or at least I could see it in my camera. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, it is beautiful. I love this cross. I love how it turned out and just keeping it simple like this, but I could also picture it all colored up really pretty. Okay, so we've got all our pieces. This is going to go on top of here like that. All right, let's start putting this together. So I'm using tight bond. So it gives a little chance to be able to shift, but you have to keep going back. I've used it before. You have to keep going back and making sure it's not shifting for a few minutes. Um, I'm to take a towel today. I'm sorry. This is a super thick glue if you haven't used it. I always keep it stored on the side. And I think I need to poke it. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get some coming. I might have to get a toothpick. Nope, it's coming. It is so super thick. And you don't need a lot of it. Just put a little on. 
lay it on and then you can push it down so that'll spread that out and we'll just let that sit and add the next one and then we'll just keep going back making sure that it's staying if you use hot glue and you don't have it in the exact right place it's gonna be hard to get that piece off my muscles are getting a workout today yeah cuz hot glue once you put it on it's on and you're gonna be able to shift this for a little bit Piece in. And then just press it out that will spread that glue around but again then go back make sure they're all where they need to be <laughs> because pretty quick they're going to set up so you can't wait till the whole thing is done It does dry clear also. Just gonna... So just work at sections at a time. This honestly is the most time consuming part of this whole project. And now I can see this piece that shifted a little, or I needed to shift it over a little because it will be flush to it when you do it. Okay, let's put this piece on. Sorry, this is the most painful part of watching doing it, but honestly, it's going to be beautiful when it's done. I also have a Gorilla wood glue that would work great doing this too. I just didn't, I just thought this would be nice. Again, just work section so that you make sure that it's going to fit together nice without gaps. Tell me what you guys are doing today while we're sitting here watching me glue. I wonder if you heat this up, if that would help it come out. I tell you, this is hard squeezing. I know I see others, <laughs> other crafters doing the same thing. It's like, oh my gosh. but it works so well. Spring cleaning, perfect. And normally you don't feel like spring cleaning unless you have nice weather, right? Okay, and then just go make sure these are over here are good yet. See, I wish I could lift it up. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And again, the reason why you stained a little bit on this outside edge is just in case a little of that shows, but 
it, it would just be a, a just a edge but you would really see it with stained wood and if you had that little bit of um, the off-white wood peeking out you wouldn't be very happy with that so go ahead and stain just that little outside edge stain or paint to whatever you're using Mabry's mommy and daddy come for lunch. Oh, that'll be fun. Good morning, Malia. Oh, I, I know my eyes have to adjust. I know I say it right. Melania. Good morning, Melania and Cece. Sitting where I am, I have a little bit more difficult time sitting right by this door because of the light. Real bright by me, but I love it here. Good morning, Cece. Yeah, I'm taking advantage of the warm weather while I can with this patio door wide open. We have it open a lot during winter too, though, because we burn wood and it gets hot in here for that too. So. Okay, we just have this bottom part to do yet. I think I got my exercise in for today, at least my weights by doing this. Didn't get upset. I don't get upset. It's not coming. But I get it right. I get it right. I just have to look at it. I just have to look at it. And I couldn't see, like I said, the lighting is different for me today. And you do have a very different spelling. It's beautiful, though. It's a beautiful spelling of that name. Getting there, getting there. Trust me, I butcher a lot of names on here though, and I feel so bad, especially when I do the random act of kindness drawings and I'm seeing the last names too. I butcher them, I feel so awful. Thank you, artist. Oh, goodness. Can you see me go? <laughs> Almost done. And you want to make sure that bottom edge is where it needs to be that you're not going to cover that bottom edge because if you want it to stand you have to make sure that's open and now just do a little bow for it at the bottom you don't have to do that and I'll, I'll do it if I don't like it we won't put it on but you could honestly just put flowers in front of this and change it up for the season you know whatever whatever you like you could change the, the decor on it all the time Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Old Ukrainian Beta Russian. Old Ukrainian Beta Russian. Is that what it is, Melania? Melania. Melania. So, did you live across seas, or do you now, or where are you from, Melania? You should put that glue in a bottle with a trigger. Yeah, Vicki, I I think the trigger would break. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And maybe it thickened up 
a little more than what it should have. I don't know, but it works. Like I said, you can still shift things. Now I won't be able to shift any of that up there, but as I'm going, I can still shift where if you're using hot glue, you won't be able to shift it. And if you um, end up having it just a little bit off, you're going to have to try and break it off and hopefully not break the pieces. So that's why I do love using it. And it does set up, you know, quick enough that I could lift it up. Like this one, the one I just put on, I can lift it up and it's going to stay there. It sets up that quick, but you can still shift it. It's not dry. I have to clean off the top. That'll help when I'm done, too. Last piece before I put the stand on. Okay, and then we've got this. Look at how gorgeous this is. Look at how gorgeous. And just that subtle difference, adding the wax on a couple of them, makes such a big difference. No parents came across in the 1950s and firstborn generation. Oh, awesome, Melania. So you know a big history, huh? So you learn from your parents. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this put on. Ooh, I'm doing pretty good here getting glue out. get it in some places. Like this does dry clear. That's why I like this better too than even hot glue. But hot glue again just sets up too quick to do something like this. You have to be so right on when you're doing it. But I do love that it dries dries clear. Just go back and check, make sure you have it even when you do it. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So I'm just going to go back and check that out in a minute. Okay, I'm going to glue this on. I'm also going to drop some glue in between here because that's where the cross is going to be going if I can get squeezed out. Just to get a little bit of that in there, that might be enough to hold it. And then piece it in. So we'll hold it. I'll hold it in place. Now I have to put the other back on yet too. Isn't it beautiful, artist? It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to leave that set. This is the one. Maybe I'll just hold it a minute. We're going to hold it a minute. Let me make sure it gets good and set up here. I said all this white that you see in here, that'll dry clear. This one's going to go on the back here so that it'll be a finished look on the back. To 
make sure that's going to stay though. Last gluing. back and I have that resting right on the bottom and that gives the extra stability to make it stand actually it's got to go up a little bit so it doesn't go all the way to the bottom because you don't want it to show below here let me see if I slide it down what is it going to do Actually, I can slide it down. You don't see it. It just gives that little extra stability. Thank you, Kathy. So. I'm going to do a little, just a little rag bow. But, yeah, so the back is pretty, too. We said all the, the white glue that you see, if you see it in places, that will dry clear. You won't see that. Okay, I'm going to get this good in here. It's $21 plus the shipping and tax, Angela. That it uses a lot of wood. It actually uses a lot of my wood cutouts. So... So you got that. Let's do a quick, simple little bowl and hopefully not tip that over. So I've got this. I think that'll look pretty with it. Now you could also, look at what you could do. So let me do the bowl and then I'll show you. I've got other, I've got greens. I've got other things here that would be so pretty with it, just doing a little bit with it. Let's just do... Simple little red bowl. It's probably enough. I should do it this way so you have the light shining on it. Should still set up. My table is not even either, that so doesn't help. It doesn't have to be anything big. You don't want to take away from the cross at all. Okay, so I got them. I've got a little bit of lace here. Find an end. This is, I think, from Hobby Lobby or something. Get it when it's on sale. Or get the little ribbon. Let's see the end. Thank you, Cece. Thanks, Sherry. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. All right, so we got that. We'll just have one piece of lace in there. I have a little bit of raffia, maybe. It's out of my bag of raffia that I don't like. I have to open up a new bag. going on 
and just tie that off. And that's going to be behind. I think we'll have that maybe ahead of the lace. We'll see when we put it together here. and then just really mess it up, spread out some of these raffia pieces that are too thick. If I can grab them. Now I have, like I said, a few greens down here that I can show you, or you could add a little bit of flower to it, you know, different colors just to the bottom. You just lay it down there. You don't have to glue anything on. Um, that way you can change it whenever you want. Okay. All right, let's see. We do the lace first and then we'll have that on top. Let's do yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. And then I'll spread that out again as we go. And then we'll just do these few rags. And then we might need a button, right? This could be put on top of a piece of stained wood and then apply some compound and use it like a stencil. Oh, absolutely. That would be pretty. I did debate on getting my rubber stamps out again, too. My, well, my acrylic stamps out again today, too. You could stencil on here also. That would be so pretty. Or get the magnolia stencils out, the patterns. Um, I think the loved one, that pattern that they have is going to be, or is retired now, or at least it was in the retired, but that was one of my favorites for doing something like that. But yeah, that would be an awesome idea to do that. Okay, and then I really like spreading this out so that's messier. So you see it. We'll see. Yeah, that's going to be so pretty in there. Um, and then, so I had a button in here that I thought would be gorgeous with it. Mm, I'm not so sure. I think we just need a simple black one. Even that one would be pretty. I keep dropping them. I'm a good catch. Yeah, for sure a button. All right, we're going to have to use the tight bond because I have no hot glue going on here. Okay, do you know, did you see how easy that just came out? I'll show you what this button looks like when I put it on. It's really cute on here. Look at how cute that button is. All right, and again, make sure you see some of that lace. And the raffia all over. And then, you could put that right down there like that. Is that cute? I don't think I want it up here because that would really take away. Still shifting a little. We're going to get that back in there. Okay. Yeah, that would take away from the cross. You really would want something down here. 
So just something like that would be gorgeous down there. If you had, now I have other things down here. Just a little piece of this hydrangea, you know, just put little, just a little color down at the bottom of it. That would be so pretty. Just adding that little bit of color. Isn't that cute? So you could certainly do that. Um, this was what I got from St. Vincent de Paul last week. You could use like some of these leaves. These would be so pretty down here. Um, actually, I had a piece that fell off. I'm not seeing now of that. You could use some lamb's ear and put in here, you know, just a little sprig of the lamb's ear on there would be so pretty. I really like that too. I really like that. You know, a little sprig of this. A little sprig of that, and you could just put like a little bow on that also, or put a few of these sprigs on there. You could add, probably add like one of these flowers on top too, just to have, have that. Um, whatever you like, there's so much you could do with decorating, and you don't need a lot because the cross really says it all, right? So, all right, should we do a random act of kindness drawing? Melania, Melania Galvani, Gal, Galvin, I know I butchered your last, last name. I say Melania, okay? Um, private message me your mailing address. I'll get you happy mail. And um, please do a random act of kindness for someone. So, yeah, I, I do love it with this little bow, though, too. I really, really like that. Just simple little bow. I'm actually going to end up gluing that one on because I love that look. And, you know, if you wanted, you could do a little sprig of green off of that. Look at that. That would be really, really cute just with that little sprig off. It have to be up on there a little more. My button's coming up. I need to. That I like the hot glue for. But something like that would be really, really pretty. So, all right. Yeah, that's really cute. With that little bit of green. Or, I said, from this plant. Let me just grab it. I know I had a little piece that I brought. There it is. I'd have to glue that in place so that it stays flat, but even like a simple, I'd have to take them apart and glue them flat, even as simple as that. But I love the lamb's ear. I really think I love the lamb's ear, but that would be sort of cute too. So, all right, you guys all have a good day. I don't think I'll be back on later. I got some orders to get out and, um, and then go watch baseball. So, all right, you guys all have a good day and we'll see you soon.